All right, hey, welcome back to what we did. Appreciate you stopping by. Man, this is awesome. I'm gonna show you a little bit about the Enphase app that we got going on here. So if you got here from the solar video, I appreciate you clicking on that and getting here to this one. If not, check up here in this corner. I'll throw a link to the solar video. You can check it out first or you can just watch this one and then you can check it out in a little bit. Either way, appreciate it and let's get to it here. So anyway, Enphase app right here. You will notice this is kind of the home page when you open up the app. This is where it shows our latest power, kind of our peak power, what we've produced uh, for the day, you know, today, yesterday, this video was shot March 14th. Also, you can click through and it'll show you like, you know, how many number of trees saved, how long you can run a refrigerator, how many nights for a, a, night, a light, 100 watt bulb there. Now switching over, this gets into our our energy usage for the by day so this shows you what we're doing by day then you can switch it over you can take a look at uh, by week and I'll click back here a couple weeks here and show you the difference uh, you know what, what we produced what the system produced over the last few weeks and obviously we've had a few snowstorms this is looking at it from a monthly basis so February you can see 878 kilowatt hours then uh, January it was showing uh, here 414 but you can also see like man we really uh, we had some snow days there and then this is January when we started the system you notice there on the 11th snow snow those days that don't have any energy that's we've had a few few snow days anyway then you can even look at it from a yearly basis so now you can see January February did almost 900 March uh, here in a little bit I'll show you another video with a, a latest version uh, of today's shot March 29th and you can see we actually did like 1.4 megawatts so far in March. This now switched over to the arrays. So you can actually see what the solar system itself, what each individual solar panel is doing. Um, let me click back. I'll go back a, a couple here and then I can show you in January. This is where uh, you see all the, those four panels that are grayed out. That's why I found out that they weren't working was by this app. And it's cool because you can have it on the phone or you can have it on the desktop version as well. But this is when I ended up reaching out to the solar company, said, hey, something's not right. Took a screenshot, sent it to them. Yeah, so we had microinverters that weren't working. But you can look at these on a monthly basis, daily basis. Uh, here in a second, I'll switch it over to a year. But yeah, you can see all the information for the panels as to what has happened. I mean, you can get down really granular into this and see all the details, which is really cool just to keep an eye out on your system but uh, it's pretty sweet and anyway let's switch it over to the other one i'll show you today's shot so let me turn that over and we'll go from there okay so here we are we are at the main home page again peak power for today not very high 5.5 .5. it's very cloudy we had a lot of rain today uh, matter of fact here let me i'll just let's go to the uh, energy usage for today and then uh, you'll notice here i've got this a new version where I, I show the lines like you can turn turn the lines on and off for yesterday and today's so yeah so today we didn't do do a whole lot of energy today just because of all the rain but we still I mean still generated some power which is pretty good um, but looking at it from a, a week standpoint uh, we still generated quite a bit for 442 uh, kilowatt for the week which is fantastic but uh, if we go over to the month, this is where it gets interesting. So we can look, we've generated 1.4 megawatts, which is awesome. So we have I turned on the currency equivalent based on Excel's energy and our dollar values that we pay for them. Shows that we've done 193.3 uh, dollars worth. So it's pretty sweet. We are about, we are close to covering our, our cost already, just within two and a half months, basically. We're close to getting that cost so here i'm excited about getting to these next few months where you know sun's shining longer we're getting those longer days so the system it'll really rack up and then i'll do another video a little bit later on but i wanted to show you this uh, same kind of thing now you can see here's the yearly uh, version you'll notice that from the earlier graph where march was at when i did it mid-march to now uh, i mean we're really starting to, to starting to shoot up there in energy usage or in creating making energy yeah, whatever we're doing, you know, whatever that thing's doing. Anyway, appreciate it. That is what I wanted to show you. So I just wanted to give you a little demonstration there, real short video about the Enphase app and how it ties into our, our solar system. 
so yeah, so I appreciate you stopping by and we'll catch you in the next one. All right, take care.